guys, this is my quote on HH2, or you may call me Eddie. And today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your easy cap. It's really simple. So the first thing you're going to need is an easy cap, of course, which I have. A DC60 plus. I meant DC60, I meant. Excuse me. The next thing you're going to need is your, your EVI cables. Which you don't have to buy, but if you don't, you know, what I mean, you don't, and you may be wondering, do I need an S-Video cable? Well, no. You may be wondering why, because for this, because look, because this is my only um, cable I have for my PS2. This is the other one broke, I believe. It exploded like right here, with ink. And I asked my one of my family members, and he said it exploded. So, so you're gonna need one of these AVR cables. The next thing you're gonna need is a double S video cable, which is really easy. I bet you, I think they're like for like a dollar or two dollars. I believe on Amazon they're really easy to find, or you can go to a local radio shack. I will put a link in the description for all these stuff you're going to need. The next thing you're going to need is one of these. I don't know what they're called, but if you know what these are called, they'll be, you can tell me in the comments below. Well, like, this where you can plug in right here. This is really great. But you can plug in your um, um, audio from your AVI cable from earlier, and this end will go to your easy cap. So the first thing you want to do after everything you got, you want to plug these into your TV or whatever you use. It has to be an S video. If it doesn't work, if it has like an S video and you don't have an S video cable, it's fine. So like that, how we have it like that. The next thing you're gonna need is you grab your AVR cable and plug it in. Every everyone appropriate, like yellow, right, red, like yellow, white, red. There you go. So let's plug these in. Let's plug in your yellow over here. Because you cannot record without your yellow cable. Because without it, you cannot record. So it turns really good. So it's like that. And the next thing you're going to do is get your S video cable and plug one end of it and plug it into your thing from here. And the next thing you're going to do, once you do, I'm going to move my camera just a little bit. What you're going to do is get your easy cap you have. And get the other end of your yellow, white, red you have, and plug it into the appropriate cables. Like this. Plug that in on the way. There we go. The next thing you want to do, last but not least, you want to get this cable and plug it into your appropriate uh, cable, which is like this. So it'd be like that. So you do get everything you should look like that. When you do, when you're done, we're going to plug it into your computer, which right now, I'm going to switch to my thing. So right now, we're going to go to my computer screen. So see you guys. We're going to go to the computer screen now. Okay guys, so since we're on the computer screen now, the next thing you want to do is, um, you want to open up your Ulee Video Studio that you already installed. There is no tutorial we'll make because um, I lost a CD, but you can look up other people who know how to install this stuff like this. Do you want to open up you leave, click allow. Excuse me, real fast. You want to click movie wizard. And I got my PS2 right here, open up, so let's click. Okay, so let me put the volume mode down because I don't like it when I'm, like the volume's really high and I don't want to blow people's ears like with their earphones who have like really loud. So about that. Okay, so once we do, so let's open up. I don't want that. There we go. So here's our AVI Grabster. I'm gonna leave it as MPEG real fast. Let's wait for it. It's kind of lagging on me because I got some other stuff open up a little. I got some. It's lagging on me. Here's our thing. So you wanna click video captures. You wanna click. You wanna go to color and all that. Change it however you want. However yours. I'm gonna put the brightness up just a little. Like that. I always put it like that. You want to change the source you have, the S video, whatever you're using. Change your microphone. I have stereo mode for me because I have to use my. That's how you can use. For me, I have to use PCI audio. If you like having audio problems, click the one that says use PCI audio and put audio device stereo mix. TV system, whichever you use, I use NTSC. Palace for anybody who lives in the UK. I'm not for sure about SimCam. NTSC is like any like. US or all stuff, pal, it's just UK. Click color, you just adjust it. Like I said, you want to click the one that says DVD. You want to click the DVD. 
and click advance. Um, change it to however you want it, pal. You guys will have to have that. And NTSC 720 by 480. Next thing you want to do is you don't want you can choose whatever you want, but I'm gonna click click that off. You want to click 16 by 9. Comp the bit rate 8,000. Leave it alone. And pick audio. Yep, stereo and sample bit rate. I recommend having at 192. You don't have it too much or too bad, or else the call the bad of the audio quality will sound really bad. And click OK. And click OK. Sorry about that little lag. And, and the quality should look a little better and lots of stuff. Looks a little better now, so let's let's just huh, see that sometimes. There you go. That looks a little better now. So when, yeah, and then you want after you're done, just click capture video. Do whatever you want, blah blah blah, just do whatever you want. And after you're done, just click stop capture. I hope this tutorial was really helpful to anybody who really like need help setting up EasyCap. I hope you guys enjoyed this and see you guys next time. And bye bye.